Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here from the No Justice, No Peace Report. Um, responding to the Walter Wallace Jr. situation and all the protests happening. Of course, I don't condone violence and I don't think that um, people should be, you know, really acting out in the way they are showing it right now. But I understand. The young man, according to the article I just read, and um, they're quoting his father, he had mental issues. That's number one. Number two, the police officers, I think, um, should be equipped, if they're not, with other tools other than the gun in order to deal with these situations. Time and time again, I have seen videos, I have even shared some, where the police officer is interacting with a belligerent and, and, and many times violent white person and the person is still alive. The person is either shot in the arm, in the leg, or they find some way of, of detaining the person or taking the, um, bringing the person under control, right? So that they don't have to use something lethal. The young man had mental issues, according to the father. Apparently, he wasn't taking his medication or he didn't take his medication, right? Uh, you know, there is no need for police officers to be doing this. There is no need. Use a taser. Use a pellet gun. You, use a net. Use something. You know, there was a lady in the video that was running around saying, because I was wondering if this young man has a knife, why is it that this woman is so close to him? Apparently, it was his mother. So his mother was there. And, um, you know, in these black communities, you have individuals who can step in, not just their parents, who know they know the young man. Of course, the young man was coming aggressive at the police officers, but shoot him in his leg. I, I don't understand. You know, just shoot him in his leg. You know, he'll be, he'll be okay. I, I think, I mean, you just take his life. You know, I, I don't... It's so frustrating because time and time again, the police officers keep doing this. And then, of course, people are making excuses for the police officer. Oh, he had a knife. Well, the white person had a gun. The white person took the police officer's taser, ramming a police car and doing all types of crazy, wrestling a police officer, reaching for the police officer's gun and all these things. And those individuals are alive. Those white folks, those white people are alive. But the black person is shot like a dog. And um, that's a huge problem, especially in this current climate. You know... I'll drop the information in the description box. It's going around on social media already, so I'm sure you've heard, but I just wanted to add some comments to it. It's your boy KP here. We continue to fight. We continue to resist. We continue to push for change. Police officers need to do better. They need to do better, right? Your job may not be easy, but you didn't have to kill the young man, injure him, do something else, throw a net at him, whatever the case is, right? But don't kill him. All right. So take care of yourself. Stay woke. Um, stay red. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so. All right. And thanks for liking. Share, comment as well. Take care.